and hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So today we will talk about the list of content models in HTML5. This isn't particularly important, but uh, it's just for some background so you can like know what's going on. Okay, so first off, let's start with the head. The head usually includes things like base, link, metadata, no script, script, style and title, but not always. Now, as I said before, these are not that important. You don't need to know these like out of your head. Now, these aren't extremely important just yet. We'll be getting to, into more detail with most of these, especially when we go into CSS and JavaScript. For example, the links, the no script, script, meta, and stuff like that. Now, you all probably already know about the title, so I don't have to explain that. And most of these I won't be explaining just yet. For now, you just actually have to know more about link and style, which is actually not right now that important, but just so that you know. Now, um, link is basically to link a CSS file, which we'll be getting into more into CSS. These can also be used to link outside files that is not CSS, for example, bootstrap, which is, we will be getting into later on, maybe before we go to the CSS. Then style is just to put CSS into. Um, we'll also be getting more into that when we get to CSS. Then another thing that can be pretty important is the script tag which will also include JavaScript. This is not important for you right now but it is useful to know that it does exist. And um, if you do like know some JavaScript you can like, test out of it, for example, the alert function or the console.log function, if you know how it works. Now, something that can be really annoying and uh, you should watch out for is putting the title tag at the top and not doing what I just did right here. I did it once and I really didn't get the result I wanted because the title tag for some reason should always be at the top, right underneath the head tag. Otherwise, there's a problem, and I made this mistake, and don't want you to make the same mistake. So remember to always put a title tag at the top. Okay, now let's continue. Next up is the body. Now the body usually holds the things that are embedded. These will include audio, video, canvas, iframe, images, math, object, and SVG. Now the only actual important ones of these are video, audio, canvas, yeah maybe, image and SVG. The rest you will barely ever use, so you don't really have to know them, but just for in case, because you might be one of those that actually enjoy using those and will actually try and use those. But I have never used the math tag, the object tag, iframe tag or actually the canvas tag in any of my code so far. Now next up is the interactive. These usually include elements like A for link, audio, video, button, details, embed, iframe, image, input, label, object, select, or text area. They are actually specifically meant for user interaction. So uh, these are quite easy to remember, but you don't actually need to like remember these, for example, metadata, embed, interactive, and stuff like that. You don't need to remember those. You just, there's just like for some background detail. So you do know these things falls into those categories. Now next category is heading. Now we all know a heading is from H1 to H6. If you don't know, please come watch my earlier tutorials. Now, this isn't hard at all, so we can just skip through this one. Next up is sectioning content. These are extraordinarily useful in HTML5. These are elements like article, aside, nav, and section. These will section your HTML web page, and they are extraordinarily useful when you are busy coding and the the whole project just gets so big 
the section tags and stuff will keep it nice all nice and ordered so you can find it whenever you need to and everything is nice in place you'll learn more about these once we get deeper into HTML5 so if you don't know what I are yet don't worry because I haven't taught you them yet but we'll get to them soon thank you all for watching see you all in the next tutorial to teach the world to